We've got a site, small, but we have a site. We've done checking on that site, but do we really know that everybody that gets to come to our site is going to have a good experience? Now, raise your hand out there if you like to go to sites when you click on things, it doesn't do anything, or it says broken link, or an image is not there, or you try to play a movie and the movie doesn't play. We've done a lot of stuff to make sure that doesn't happen, but there are more things we need to do to get ready for prime time. So I'll tell you what, go ahead and open up, say, for example, Happisburg Lighthouse text right here. Let me go ahead and go just into design view. So we have an image up here. We have our navigation. We got a lot of text down here. It's a typical page, I guess. If we go up to the word file on the pull down menu, one of your options is to validate. Validate current document W3C, the World Wide Web Consortium. That's exactly what that is. They are the power behind the throne. They're the people that work and design HTML5, 6, 7. They depreciate tags. They make things go as smoothly as possible. They know what works and they know what doesn't work. So I want to validate this page against what they say. So if we click here, it's going to tell you it's going to send that document to them. That's fine. Now you can check to see what is the W3C, terms and conditions, or hey, I know what this does. Don't show me the dialogue again. I'm going to click OK. Now you'll notice we have two problems. Number one, this interface to HTML5 document checking is obsolete. What? Well, when we went up to file and clicked validate, where it sent us according to the W3C is obsolete. Now that might not be there when you go here, but it's telling me we might want to go to HTTPS validator W3 org forward slash NU instead of using this one. Now I did, I got the same problems. I got that one and I got that second one. This article lacks a heading. Now remember, this area right in here is the article. We made an article HTML5 and then we use CSS rules to conform it. Articles according to the HTML5 rules, if you will, should have a heading. We already put our heading up here, didn't we? That's in a separate area. I don't need another one down here. But if I say, for example, selected Happisburg Lighthouse right here, and made that into an H2 or an H3 heading, that error would go away. But you want to understand it's a warning. It's not catastrophic, but it's just saying, well, maybe you should use a heading here. If you don't want to, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just a warning. Remember that. Now let's go ahead and close this out. For the next thing, let's close out this document. Now go up to the word site on the pull down menu. We have several things that we can do to the whole site. One of those is checking my links. Do they all work? So if I come down here and select here, notice the only three broken links are in TMP files. Now what's a TMP file? When Dreamweaver is working and it's doing things like validation, it literally creates temporary files. It's telling me I got a problem with the temporary file. I don't care. It's not being used. If I double click on one, let me show you. It's just a validator report yet it's still going to check it. We don't have to worry about those. So you know what that means? All our links are working. It says we have three broken. Doesn't matter. They're on temps. So when you see the temp thing, don't worry about it. So we're okay on our links. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. Let's go back up to site and go to reports. This is a good one. Now in reports, I can choose in workflow, things like checked out by whom, design notes, recently modified. Not too worried about those yet. What I want to know is, do I have any possible combinable nested font tags? Make it more efficient. Now, I'm going to skip this one for a second. I'll explain that. Do I have any redundant nested tags? Do I have any removable empty tags? And do I have any untitled documents? Now, if you look at missing alt tags again, alt text, we'll talk about that in the next lesson, is very important because you apply it to the images. I want all my images to have alternate text. But I found out that the report system, based on how you set up your site, sometimes is not entirely accurate. So we're going to skip that one, come back to it in the next lesson. Let me check this other stuff. Click Run. There's a temp file again. Warning, empty tag. I don't care. It's not going to be used by the site. It's going to go away. It's temporary. But look at all the other ones. Our index, contact, 
Lighthouse, and media pages. None of them have got a title, and they all need to have titles. It's very important. Titles identify the page to the person that's going there. They also help with SEO. Let's just do one of them. Go to index, double click. That's all you got to do. And it'll put it right there, right in your face. I'm going to get in here, select untitled document. Incidentally, I think I've mentioned this, but if you do a search in Google for the words untitled document, you get like 12 million hits. I'm going to type in Lighthouses of the World home page. So if we do a site report again, that one will be gone because we've already given it a title. And you want to do that to your contact page, your Lighthouse images, and your media. Notice I'm using Lighthouses of the World, and I'm going to use that on every title, and they will change to home page, contact page, media page, Lighthouse page, whatever. And you see those words are going to help when the search engines come in to help identify me for people who are looking for me. So when people go into, say, Google, and they say, ah, I know there's lighthouses. I think the name was something like Lighthouses and World or something like that, of the world. I don't know anything else about it. And they type that in. If you've got lighthouses of the world in a lot of strategic places, like in your alt text, like in your titles, in different places in the text, the SEO, search engine optimization, will be better for you than people who have those words less, and you'll be higher up in the search order. So you do want to go back through these, and you want to do all of them. You want to make sure when you get done, the only errors you might have are temp files. 